Hi there, this is Tamara Doris with Top Producing Techniques. And I've decided that I'm going to do a series of videos on my new book, Think and Get Rich in Real Estate Sales. I thought I would just do a little short video on each chapter to give you a better idea of some of the techniques that I teach in the book and hopefully help you increase your business. So chapter one, since this is our first video, starts out with responsibility. Now I know a lot of agents don't want to hear that because hey, it's the market, right? Or it's the other agents, or it's unrealistic sellers. But in reality, your reality is created with your mind. So although it's not a great idea when you first start out thinking about it, the potential is unlimited. And what do I mean by that? Well, if I tell you that everything in your life at this point is a result of your thoughts and your actions, you might not like me. However, if I tell you that because everything in your reality is a result of your thoughts and your actions, the good news is that you can change your thoughts and your actions and therefore create an entirely new life or at least fix the parts that are broken. Okay? So the secret is whatever we focus on expands. And I can tell you right now that one of the biggest problems I see, and it's not just real estate agents, it's anybody, even my, myself, is when we get upset about something, we react. And when we react, we're not attracting in a good way, we're attracting in a negative way. So start out by looking at your life right now. Just take out a piece of paper and go through each area of your life. Your wealth, your career, your health, your love relationships, your family. Go through all of those and make a list of the things that you'd like to change. Take a look at the list and say, okay, where am I at right now? And what, where don't I want to be? What do I want to change? And when you start doing that, you can start to identify the things that aren't working. And instead of dwelling on those things, you can start creating the things that you want in their place. So, for example, if you don't have a lot of buyers right now, instead of dwelling on the fact that you don't have buyers, let's start focusing on the excitement of creating new buyers and attracting new buyers. And it's so possible. It's, it's not rocket science. It really isn't. What you think and what you do on a daily basis are absolute indicators of what you will have in your life tomorrow. So, what you have in your life today, right this minute, is merely a result of what you were thinking about and what you were doing yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. Okay? So that's the worst of this whole chapter, or excuse me, of this whole book, is taking responsibility. And it's chapter one, it's easy to get out of the way, but it's the most important because you know what? I can't teach you the techniques that I've been studying and researching and writing about and applying in my own life for the last 20 years unless you start by taking responsibility. You have to stand where you are right now and say, okay, I created this mess. You know what? It's not all a mess, right? There's some really good stuff in your life, I'm sure. Like you woke up this morning. That's pretty good. So start right now and decide what you have and what you want and assume responsibility. Don't blame yourself. Don't get on your case and think you're terrible or you're a loser because you've created some things in your life that you're not thrilled with. We all have. But take responsibility for what you have created. It's not the seller's fault. It's not the market's fault. It's not your broker's fault. It's not the bank's fault. It seems like it's the bank's fault, but it's not the bank's fault. Take responsibility. Don't blame yourself, but take responsibility. Start there, and let's see where we can go. And I'll be back with Chapter 2 next.